Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. In the chapel today we have, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, John 14, 18. So, I am just finding my peace in the Lord. So, um, yeah. All right, so first I've got two FOs, which you both know, that you know both of them don't have the ends woven. in. So, I finished this one, and it's the hat. You know, I hand spun it and I made it a little bit big for me because she said her head is a little bit bigger. You know, all the hats fit tight and then flop off her head. So I also made a scarf to go with it. And again, you can see I haven't woven my ends, but I think it looks really cute together. Um, I've always worn my scarves. like so you know she can do it tighter and there's quite a bit she could do it longer around her neck she could wrap it more than once and then of course the hat so and it's loose enough that I think it will fit her um, it's a little big on me but she can always adjust this right here uh, it's just just well I think it came out really cute it is what it is but it's done and it's a gift so um, yeah, there's that one. I do have to weave in the ends. Psst. Well, good thing I don't print very much for this video, huh? Because <laughs> my hair is everywhere now. Okay, so that one is done and off the hook. I just have to weave in ends. Um, the next one is a gift for a bridal shower. And again, have to weave in the end. Yes, I say one end because this one's already worked in. I just need to nip it a little bit closer, but it's already tucked all the way across there. But it is this one. You can see that there's, um, I didn't even come close to playing yarn chicken. I had this much left. So I think it looks pretty good. I really like the color. There's peach and yellows. It's very springtime. There's greens, purples, pinks. Um, not really any blues to speak of it's more of the purple fading to the green so this row right here almost is a blue but other than that it is very springtimey and I like it I think it's pretty nice so yep there's that one all nice and done again have to weave in the ends you know I leave that until I've got three or four and then I spend the night weaving in ends and saying yay I got something done so um, but yeah, this one is for a, uh, bridal shower and I will give that one to her after I weave it in. It is made of cotton. Um, she's a little bit younger and I don't think that she would take the time to do, uh, wool, wash wool the way that it should be done. So I didn't know this young lady is young, but I think she would take the time to do it. She seems to treasure things a little bit and take care of them so i'm pretty sure she would appreciate the hand spun yarn whatever okay so i've got those and then i did not get done those were two of my goals and i did not get done the um gray fiber i've been spinning it on big bertha i did spin some just don't have it done um it seems to be taking forever you know, it's like when you want something to take no time at all. When you want it to get done, it just seems to not go as fast as what you want. So, um, still on the hooks, I have the purple. Um, and it's the sweater. And I went and got some more um, stitch markers, but I haven't worked on it. Ah, dropping the bag. I haven't worked on it. I have the back, and this is the front Ooh, but I'm pulling out so I have this one going and it's going it's I'm gonna try and get it done so that I'll have it for the fall um, I know that's a long term thing but it's the only one that I have going right now except for the fact that I started a new one <laughs> so yeah I have that purple one and I have the gray to finish and get off the um wheel but 
then I started this one. And if you remember, I got this pack at Hobby Lobby and it had six like 100 yard balls. And I am to where I'm going to, now I'm going to do something that they say isn't how you do it in Tunisian crochet, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do me. Okay. So I have started this in Tunisian and this is almost a grayish purple. It does look a little gray, but it's a light purple. Um, and then I'm in the middle of a row. I have this much left and I'm just going to do me fold it over and put this one and then link it with this one and keep right on crocheting so that, you know, cause they say to do color change on Tunisian at the end or whatever. I'm not going to, I'm just going to keep being me and I'm just going to change right here because I'm not going to rip all this out just for, I don't know, 20 stitches. It'll blend in once I get it done. So I've got this one and I am just doing, um, a double crochet, Tunisian double crochet, I guess you'd call it. And I have one ball finished. I'm getting ready to start this ball. And then I've got these in here. So it goes to another pink, a little bit of a pale pink, and then almost a cream to the gray. So yeah, it'll be like this. And they're not staying together as well as I want them to in there. So I may have to put ball bras on all of them. Um, just while I'm storing them in there or put them each in a Ziploc bag, but I have lots of ends everywhere. So this one I'm just working on and it's just going to be a shrug that goes across your shoulders and then you make it a rectangle and just simply fold it over, stitch it so that your arms go through and then this is as loose or as tight as you want it to be depending on how far down your arms you pull the armholes. Um, I am going to try and take some of one color and I think it's going to be that dark purple and when I get the armholes put together I'm going to then put a couple of rows on so that, with ribbing so that I can move it and hopefully keep it where it needs to be it may be the gray that I do it with I don't know because um, I really want that purple in there <laughs> and I want it in there as a nice color so big spot don't know I'm going to modify it a little bit and put some armholes on it but I don't know if I'm going to go get a different color or I'm just going to use one of the colors that's in the balls because I could pull one of those out and keep it for the sleeves and if I did that I was thinking about this the other night if I did that I honestly would pull out this pale lilac -y pinkish color and as you can tell they've all the little balls once you take them off the little thing they slide off really easy um, so yeah, I think it would be this little color right here because it have the purples and the pinks or that mauvey colored pink in it and then it would go to grays and the grays and the pink. So I think if I pull one out and do the sleeves, I'm going to do it with this. I'll see how big it is leaving this out and then we'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want gray sleeves or not because I don't know. I just think the pink would pull it together like as it's got all the balls in there and the color changes then have the little light pink sleeves I think it would make it look more uniform so I've been working on that and when I just have a few minutes to sit and think I have gone back to working on my squares for the around the world and I literally work two at a time and don't cut them apart so these have so these two purple ones are this ball oh got it tangled in the pink now um but I just work from both ends and that way I don't have to get my scissors out because worm likes to try and chew on my scissors so I just do from each end and here's my pink one and I've been doing but I have quite the stack mostly the the purple and the pink and white so yeah, I've been working on that. There's a few more pinks that are still on the ball. But I have been working on it. It's a long-term project. Simple whip up. Little granny squares. Three inch by three inch. And then I'm going to put them together in around the world pattern. So you start with one 
color and then you go to the next color and then you go to the next color and you do it in rows around it so I don't have enough really to put together unless I wanted to start with the white and then go to the purple um, but I was hoping to get more done on it before I started attaching them so yeah that is all I've been working on in the um, fiber world I guess uh, I did take and I if I have the picture I will do it I think I have the picture so I'm looking on my phone I know that's terrible to do on camera I am so sorry but I did do so I work at a vet clinic and at the vet clinic we do spay and neuters and I took and, yep I do have the pictures I took and got some fiber from a great pair of niece it was shaved so that she could be spayed and I made one of those memento things that I used to make years ago for dog and cat owners when I was at the shelter and so I'll put those pictures in right here Okay, so first off, let me say I did that without asking her. I just went and got it. I was like, oh my gosh, that's fiber. And it was a big ball of it. And there was, um, I did the frame in a single ply. Because I didn't want it to be too bulky. You want it to be thin to go between the glass and the backing. Um, then I took what was left and I just double plied it. Just two plied it and made a little skein of yarn that she could do whatever with. Um, I took it in after I got it done. You know, it was a one night project. Just sat, pff, did it, was done. Um, then of course it had to sit and dry. I blocked it and blah. I will say this. I have always started with a frame and a photo first. And I've had those things on hand so that I can get the mat exact. This time I did it with a ruler. And it looks a little big. I don't know. She can find her own frame. It's not like she asked me for it or I was doing it as a paid commission. Um, I was just having fun. So I took it, blocked it. When she came in for her follow-up, uh, I gave it to her. And I said, please don't think I'm weird. I said, I just couldn't waste all that great fur. Well, as it turns out, her daughter sells on Etsy. Um, I gave her my number. And, you know, I, I don't know that the daughter will ever call me. But, um, and I don't know the name of the shop or anything. This is not a sales pitch for her. But she crochets and knits with acrylic yarn and sells stuff on Etsy. So, her daughter thought it was really cool which is good they liked it it was something fun just because so i did do that and i guess that's another off the hook but eh, it was just in between stuff i didn't have a whole lot going on with the crochet nothing that i had to get done no big pieces i was working on no consignments that i was working on so yeah i just did it it really came out cute so um, I think that is really all I have for fiber. Um, the other thing that I did, let me see here. I'm going through my list. I don't have anything in the dye pots. On the wheel is that gray, and I've already told you I didn't get it done. I've been working on it on Bertha and just having fun and not really pushing to get it done. But I'm thinking I might have to sit and just push myself to get it done. So we'll see. Um, in the field, I did plant a small garden, and I did take a video. Unfortunately, the video is taken, let me see if I have it. Um, I do have it, but it was taken before the. it got down to 38 degrees, just a light frosting. So some of my really young 
okra plants don't look like they're doing too whoopy. Um, but I will put that video in right here. All right, so I did get the garden in the ground. I have three tomato plants left. I have four golden peppers left. Then I've got cucumbers, but it's questionable. This little guy right here, for example, I'm not sure if he's going to make it. So last night we got down pretty cold. Um, the okra, I am trying. But do you see they're all falling over? I've got one that looks pretty stout. That one over there might, two, three, and then a couple here. Um, and then I've got one zucchini right here that is holding out for dear life. So we got a lot of pounding rain. This poor little guy here, I don't know if he's gonna make it either. Um, we got a lot of pounding rain. And then April, 25th which was last night as of this recording we got another frost so um, I don't know it doesn't seem to be affecting them too much it, it is the, the smaller weaker plants but like this bell pepper we got us a little thing going on here um, and I have had the bell peppers in the garage for a little bit let's see here we got a little golden they're golden sweet peppers but and we'll see what else comes of it but I just wanted to do a small little garden tomatoes peppers cucumbers okra and some zucchini so we'll see how it goes and there's worm on the inside of the fence hence we've put it on the outside of the fence because I don't want the dogs in it so I think it's doing okay for now but it has taken quite a beating in the last two weeks okay so that video um, <laughs> it looks better than it is right now. So, um, we've got a lot of rain. We got a lot of, uh, temperatures dropping. This is April in Oklahoma. We shouldn't be having weather drops like this, but I'm hoping at this point, I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to get what I'm going to get. So <laughs> the bell peppers are holding up and they're not bell peppers. They're California sweet. They're golden they're holding up three of the tomato plants are holding up um the cucumber plants two of them are kind of holding up and two are kind of iffy the zucchini's holding up however <laughs> the okra remains to be seen so it is what it is and we'll get what we get out of the garden and as roommate said Whatever we get from the garden is less that we have to buy at the grocery store. So, we'll take it as a blessing and let it be at that. Um, as far as in the farmhouse, really I think that is all I've been doing. Um, just gardening and so I haven't done a whole lot around the house. I've done some mending. I did some fixing for some people at work, so I've had the sewing machine out. Um, I am looking for a good scrubs pattern. I'm kind of tired of the blue ones that I have, and but it has to be a scrub style. So I'm going to look online. I've got a really pretty blue and gold uh, material that will make an awesome uh, scrub shirt. It, it just, it will. <laughs> It'll be a fancy one, but it'll, and I was thinking I'd make that. At work, of course, it's Administrative Professionals Day, and I'm considered a CSR, which is a customer service representative, so they consider us their administrative professionals. Um, they got me a t-shirt with a heart. We, me and the other CSRs put them on that day, um, so it's in the laundry, but it's got, it's a heart made of paw prints, and then... We got some lotion, uh, some relaxing, calming lotion from Bath and Body Works and a card. And they bought us breakfast. So I was really, I've never really had any of that at work. So, you know, it's kind of cool to be recognized and just given kind of a little, hey, there you go kind of thing. So, yeah, that's good. Um, other than that, 
I go down and do the ducks every night. I have been watering the garden. Oops, sorry. I have been watering the garden every evening if it needs it. Today, it's raining off and on, but not collecting enough water to really do much good. It, it's just keeping the topsoil damp about that far down. So I, I'm still, at this point, if it doesn't rain some more today, I'm going to have to go and water it. Uh, the other thing is, is that... Um, I have been trying to take a little bit of me time and one of the things that you guys know that I like to do is ice skate and I uh, have taken back up ice skating there's a girl at um, work and her and I went ice skating on Saturday and then she liked it so much she went back on Sunday with the boss and so I didn't go Sunday you know I'm a once a week maybe twice a week girl but that's it I'm not I have other things to do I can't spend all my time at the ice like I used to with RJ um, nowadays I have a job he's not skating as much so I have to do it you know but her and I talked and we're going to do one session of group lessons together just the adult group lessons and we'll see how it goes from there so um yeah it is what it is but i haven't skated since before covid and before covid i hadn't skated probably since rj was little and he'd want you know if he did a competition and did really well or he nailed something we would take a fun lesson and him and i would do you know just spend time with the coach and hang out and she'd see where we all ranked and he'd like to show me up and stuff like that and so I haven't done that since him but yeah I did take one session and then I went back to just skating on my own so it's time to probably take another session which is like six lessons and six public skates so that's a good thing uh, and it breaks up. I think we do three weeks, and then you get a week off, and then you get three more weeks. So, it's a good thing. Um, but, yeah. So, I've been doing that. And other than that, like today, I've got bread in the bread machine. I've gone back to making some breads. I'm just taking time to get back to being me. Um, roommate and I, we just kind of mope around the house a lot. Not really. I mean, we enjoy each other's company and stuff, but getting back to living life is hard sometimes and we've been kind of moping long enough so I'm like I'm gonna get back to doing and so roommate does not ice skate so I go by myself that's kind of my me time um, and of course now I've got the young lady that is gonna go but I don't have to go then I also have Thursday off and I could go I thought about going today but I pulled a muscle in my leg at some point and I don't know when and like last night I bent down and got on the floor and, and pulled something forward the dogs had knocked over or something and I mean the pain went straight up my leg into my knee into my thigh so I'm thinking I probably need to take it off because Saturday I'm going to the skating rink so I'm probably not going to go skating today but I've got bread going uh, dishes laundry that kind of stuff nothing to keep me busy around here and it's raining anyway I do have to run out and get milk and trash bags but other than that just trying to get back to being a happy me so and just been kind of last week you heard it kind of hurt my feelings and just blah you know I'm just tired of feeling that way so I'm gonna get back to being me and see what I can do tomorrow um, which I'm recording this on Thursday, so Friday, uh, I don't, I don't know how long ago, I think it was in July or August, I picked up a rock on my windshield, and I went and had it fixed, and the guy didn't do it right, so I now have a busted windshield, I, and it happened in the winter, and I wasn't going to have him doing it out in the cold, so anyway, uh, it cracked all the way across the bottom, like, this far up the windshield so all across the bottom is a big old crack well tomorrow I get my new windshield in um, they're coming to me I'm gonna do it while I'm at work 
they're going to be 8 o'clock appointment. Um, the car will be sitting there. I go in at 645. So at 8 o'clock, they're going to come and fix my windshield. So just stuff like that, getting back to getting things done, getting finances straightened out so that I can do things, um, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But other than that, oh, I smell that bread too. <laughs> so making bread, cleaning house, that kind of stuff today. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I am, I've got some fabric that I am looking for a scrub shirt pattern. I'm going to look online and see what I've got, what I can find. Um, I've seen so many scrubs so many different ways. I really don't know how I want to do it. So I'm going to look at the patterns and see. And then I'll go from there. But I might make me a little fancy scrub today. Who knows? Just kind of hanging out, being me, crafting a little bit. I'm going from there. I do have to put up my laundry, though. I tend to because I only sleep on half the bed. The other half has my clothes on it because I'll just put them there in a basket. <laughs> so at least they're folded. They are folded. I just don't always get them hung up or put away. So I'm going to do that today. But other than that, I'm just kind of hanging out and making sure that I don't pull that muscle in my leg again. Because that hurt last night. Like I had a heating pad on it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I've done to it, but it just... And this morning it's not like unbearable. It, it's barely, it is a little sore. I took some ibuprofen, but if I don't touch it, just go about my day, I can make it through the day. But every once in a while, if I do something, it lets me know that, hey, you hurt me. <laughs> so, all right, I'm off of here. I will talk to y'all later and thanks for watching.